Alrighty, time for a quick garden update. It's what, June 2nd, I think? So, um, over here, I got my container garden going pretty well, so this kind of gives you an idea of what you could do with a container garden. So I got lots of herbs, there's catnip exploding, there's some lemon balm. I planted a few new things, there's a celery right here. Um, these tomato plants are doing pretty good. That one fell over though, so you have to watch out. There's a squirrel that's been raiding my uh, bird feeder, but better my bird feeder than where he was um, destroying my little plastic box over here. So that little squirrel dude was chewing through my plastic box trying to get to the bird food in this section, so good times. Um, my mushrooms have uh, basically stopped. Uh, I think these blocks are completely spent at this point, so I'm probably just going to throw them into the compost pile. Um, my seedlings, I still have tons and tons of seedlings, so uh, lots of basil, tomato plants. Uh, there's a few cucumbers in here, um, lots more tomato plants and more tomato plants and peppers and basil and marigolds and a few other things and more mushroom compost. Um, I've got gigantic, I have three patches of sunflowers. I usually let like one or two go, but like these are about nine feet tall now. So um, no biggie there. Um, there's my pile of leaves. I haven't really started shredding much. I have this guy, which I want to uh, my neighbor needs to work on drainage because their house has major drain issues because it was two houses, two sheds put together with a center section that water gets under. Um, but yeah, I want to use their roof to fill this thing for drainage so I can support my hops and strawberry plot. So what's happening with my strawberries real quick is um, some of these ones are kicking off runners everywhere. You can see the little pots I've got. I'm just letting the runners root into the pots. So I'll just make sure that it now is like sitting in the, the pot and dirt and it'll start rooting. Over here, I should have my best strawberry as long as nothing's eaten it. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if something has eaten it. Ah, crap, something ate it, it looks like. I had my best strawberry right over here. So something broke in and ate it. It was looking really good. So um, I will keep that in mind. So some little guy ate my strawberry. I got a tiny one right here, which I will take as a consolation prize. But otherwise, I had a really, really nice strawberry from my Fort Laramie, which is one of my favorites. Um, they seem to do, be doing the best. I'm eating my strawberry right now, whatever. Um, tomatoes are going crazy. Um, I'm noticing some yellowing. It might be early kind of signs of spider mites. I might have to treat them with neem oil here pretty soon, but I only do that at night when you don't have any chance of bees flying around. But there are tomatoes all over the place in here. And so these are doing really well. Um, these guys on the corner are not doing so well. There's like, I think this is a symptom of possibly too much moisture in the uh, roots, root base. So we'll see how it goes. But otherwise, like there are tomatoes on all these plants. So starting next week, I'll start getting tons of plants. Over here I have a few more cucumbers and my broccoli plants got decimated by caterpillars. So you can see right underneath this guy, um, there's a whole cauldron of caterpillars who are just like, we will just eat all of your uh, broccoli plants. So I probably need to treat those guys here in a few. Worry about that in a little while. Um, I, I'm about to have to pick out tons of weeds because you get wind up with these guys and a couple of these in the yard will leave all those seeds everywhere. So those will take off. Um, over here, I have my, the browning plant is the uh, Swiss shards. It's not looking that well right now. Um, my marjoram is this guy over here. All my cilantro is gone. I'm letting my lettuce plants right here go to seed, then I'll pick those out. The carrots over there, they're gigantic, are gonna go to seed and I'll pick those out. There's a strawberry plant underneath there, which I'll get to here in a second. Um, let me see. So over here is my catnip. Have a few more plants over here. I'm not sure what this is. I see it a few times around the garden. I'm not sure if it's a weed or something else. Ooh, that's actually a pretty good looking onion right there. Um, it's about time to pick it. I didn't get that many good onions this year, but um, we'll see how they fare. So, some things over here. I got a lot of potatoes kicking back into gear. Um, a couple of potatoes over here. Mini asparagus. And so today's goal is just rip up weeds. Um, and then if there's any more spots I can throw in more plants, it's basically June, so it's gonna start tapering off in the heat. Um, but I have a couple marigolds I wanna plant over here. My beets are going pretty well. 
This is my red oak, which I want to plant in replace of that tree, but I'm not ripping that tree out yet. So this guy's just been sitting around growing every year. Um, the uh, section down here is all my root veggies. So I need to start picking these. I haven't been barely utilizing them, but um, there's a lot of radishes and stuff down here. Uh, I never saw my ginger sprout, so I'll just replace that with some other stuff. My dill is over here. Usually by with dill, I'll usually see um, uh, the uh, swallowtail moth caterpillars, but I don't see any this year. So, oh well, but they'll destroy my dill, so I need to just harvest it here pretty soon. These basil plants are doing really good. I'll start picking off the tops and just kind of get rid of these guys. Um, so, and yeah, I've covered it before in some of my other videos, but I do these in rows. So there's a center row, and then I fill the row. I put down, um, like, basically just newspaper or lawn, lawn bags, and then fill it up with shredded leaves to give me kind of a... Like, it's, so it's still in rows, and that blocks weeds, and also helps retain moisture during the summer. So, um, it gets really hot. Um, I will attach some shade cloths to this trellis and pull them out in that direction. Um, so we'll just keep walking along over here. Um, this is a variety of holy basil. It grows everywhere. I don't even plant it. It always sprouts back up every year, so I don't have to do anything. Over here is one of my favorite little strawberry varieties. These are like little alpine strawberries. So these are almost like what you'd find in the wild. And um, I'm not sure which variety it was, but this was from last year, and now it's kicking into gear this year. So it's doing really well, and I want to make sure that these little strawberries keep going re really well after this year. So, all right, I see some cucumbers now. I see one right down the aisle down down there there's a cucumber it's hard to see here but i know there is one there's another cucumber right there so cucumbers are now in season i see three right now four so all right i won't have to buy any cucumbers um i'm not sure which variety they are i think it's burpless or some muncher variety i'm not growing too many for pickles or anything my favorites are armenian cucumbers but i didn't get i'm not sure if my armenians will take off i'm not sure which plants are what now at this point so they just scattered some around over here i need to see like this is one of my most common weeds this year i'm just ripping them all up whenever i see them so there's plenty of these over here um trying to throw in more marigolds around so marigolds are good for bees and keeping some bugs away so i got marigolds all over the place uh, my squash i'm seeing some signs of squash vine borers so i'll probably start losing a lot of them so there's one of the squash bugs right there i really should just kill them sight uh, on scene like so that's just kind of how it goes they will destroy all my plants and i won't get any more squash for the season so you have to kind of be ruthless um this is a variety of uh jalapenos it's kind of purple so it's like really dark so um and those are doing really well uh, my peppers are all doing pretty well the squash uh like the three sisters garden is doing really well so you got some squash right down here there's like three uh there's the zucchini i need to pick so i'm about to go through this entire thing and pick out all the zucchini and squash need to throw down the mulch over here that i hadn't got around to yet um i mulched this half but this half i did not and I, i'm not even going to worry about this like until at least maybe i can access it again but otherwise i have one giant uh blah 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 yeah one giant sunflower the corn's looking really good there's a uh, quite a few around here and then there's green beans in here also and I'm now seeing some green beans too which I haven't started picking yet but this is going to be a big day of what all can I find and pick out of the garden um, this is another looking squash plant that like the base is looking terrible so it might be getting vine borers like once these are opening up you can see like there's some bugs in there this is my giant pumpkin plant that I've planted. Um, it was just from seeds, so it was just from my compost pile, but it's just gone massive. Um, over here, you're going to see a lot of cucumbers and melons, and I have butternut squash going, so there's butternut squash. Even like right here, there's some butternut squash right there. Here's some, um, uh, yeah, basil right there. Uh, this was where the last of my cucumbers or I'm not sure if it's cucumbers or melons yet We will see but I know I'm probably gonna get a bunch of cucumbers and melons this year Which I hadn't like the past previous years. So this year I try to focus on it better I've got some trellises for them to climb but the main one 
is right here so i'm hoping those guys start climbing up in that direction uh row of potatoes is doing really good um it's actually tapering off so at some point here pretty soon i'll have to like you can see when the plants start browning that's usually the end of the season sam's walking by and he's just like yo what's up i am in process of rotating on my compost so i have all this stuff right here um i just rotated this, like half of this into there and I'll stir this up and add coffee so I have bags of Starbucks coffee over here. But otherwise, like everything's rocking along. I'm just about to have to dive in here and wear some long sleeves, maybe some gloves. Um, mosquitoes are one of my main concerns out here, so they are going hard. There's Oliver, just like, what are you doing? This garden is a jungle, it's so big. But yeah, I can just walk around, be like, let's see what I can find and find like, here's a squash and just pick this guy up. Um, plants twisting there's a yellow squash right back in there there's gonna be probably a dozen squash I pick out of here today I bet um, but otherwise just trying to make the most of my garden wish I would have had my good strawberry because that thing was awesome so I highly recommend the uh, Fort Laramie strawberries but I've got tomatoes of all sorts of varieties I thought I had more sun sugars planted but right now it's looking like uh, garden delight is one of the main rows of seeds from that I had from last year that are sprouting um, this section is doing pretty good, like without having to weed too bad because I added a bunch of newspaper and mulch and like on top of the newspaper. So like a whole plot around almost all the plants was covered in newspaper and mulch. So that's the ideal way to do it. But the main thing is trying to keep Bermuda grass out of here. So Bermuda is one of my enemies. I had to till this section because it got out of control. So there was definitely Bermuda still rooting underneath all this. So I just try to pick all these out. But otherwise, that's the current state of the garden. I try to keep it about 12 minutes on my updates. I got a lot of tomatoes I'll pick. There's a uh, some sun sugars right here. So otherwise, um, feel free to post any comments or questions if you have them. But otherwise, it's a good year for the garden. I would say my best year. So the more you garden, the more you know, the better it all clicks together.